good morning dear students myself simana devi working as assistant professor from department of mechanical engineering from lords institute of engineering and technology now today i am going to demonstrate you about study and preparation of microstructure of our carbon in this we are going to see both normal carbon and also high carbon steel okay now let us see the uh, what are the different process we are going to follow for a uh, preparation of microstructure of our carbon dear students dear students as i have just gave you the uh, introduction to your metallurgy material science material testing lab okay in this metallurgy lab you are, i told you that you are going to focus on different metals Uh, or ceramics or regarding alloys now let us see for the first one uh, the iron as well as the um, your copper and aluminum how the microstructure is going to vary okay and this is your coal setting powder and this is your coal setting powder and this is your coal setting liquid these two we are going to mix in a beaker in a proportionate uh, quantity for example uh, let us take okay here we are just going to mix in the proportionate quantity of this is your coal setting liquid dear students okay now you are going to mix in a proportionate quantity for example 10 10 ml or 20 ml depending upon our uh, shape what we are going to do it okay and uh, next one is our coal setting lick powder this is liquid and this is a powder so if you observe in the beaker almost we have taken 10 ml okay and more we are going to mix here this you have to mix in such a way that it is going to solidify easily if you see here see it is going to get solidify after some time it will just get solidify okay so after this is done we are going to cut it in a pvc pipe into the required shapes in this way if you can observe you will find number of pvc pipes which are cut into uh, different shapes it is not be the same shape and size you can just take it so after this we are just going to pour this we are going to just pour this solid solution into the uh first you're going to place this fine we are going for grinding okay now let us go for grinding then for polishing then we are going to place the same thing here here after grinding and polishing and we are going to pour this okay after this you're going to get the shape in this way since it's the black color material so it, it is in the up in the black color with the pvc pipe is just you're going to see in this way and after this we are going to remove the pvc pipe and the final appearances in this way okay this is the final stage the simple thing we are just going to poly grind it polish it and we are going to place in this way and we are going to place it what are the solid solution we have it gets solidified obviously okay dear students this is your bell grinder okay and uh, this is the different components of your bell grinder okay what is it each component is you can just have a glance at the chart okay and uh, here we are going to go for grinding of the different specimens grinding of the different specimens here this is your specimen okay so after solidification we got the specimen as i told you then what are we going to do we are going to for uh, grinding of this one okay we are just going for grinding after the grinding is done then we are going for refining the grain structure you cannot find the same uh, structure after grinding because it is going It, it is giving you. Uh, it is going to define it. In fact, now let us go for polishing machine. As we have done, go, uh, done the uh, grinding operation on the grinding machine. Now let us go for polishing machine on the polishing on the polish disc polishing machine. Okay, this is your disc. Okay, it is connected to a motor where we are going to give the power supply, and this is the valve cloth which is placed on over here. And we are just going to start the machine, dear students. Okay, hold this specimen tightly, and just place against this this polishing machine where the polishing is done for this particular specimen. Just hold it for two to three minutes, where you can get the fine structure. If you feel uncomfortable holding the piece against this this piece, 
so you can just remove it gently and you can still place it because you cannot place it for the longer time it is going to reflect your back uh, we have just gone for grinding operation as well as polishing operation now let us go it again or for polishing on the this emery papers this emery papers each one has its own number if you just turn back and if you see see guys this is 120 emery paper number you can see this is an abrasive material okay uh, which has a more it is more rough in nature okay and this is, these are all of 120 again you will find these numbers okay this is the grade 3 paper this is grade 3 paper 3.0 4.0 okay and similarly you have all other uh, normally these colors in india also are fixed by bureau of indian standards black green pink as well as this ash color okay so i just want to sh uh, share you something guys first we need to go do it on the rough paper uh, this is the more rough if you compare all other structures this is more rough in nature okay and next is the black color okay next is your green and pink okay uh, that means uh, these colors are going to vary with uh, with respect to the grades now this is the what we got the specimen so we are going for if you can observe it you will find those particles are just falling in this way okay and uh, after this we just go do it on this paper so we need to follow from rough to smooth so just read on this paper for the two minutes and here two minutes and the green color and the last one is for pink color so now let us do it for more few seconds okay it is already refined structure that is reason i'm not going this is the pink color one okay you're going to do it for again for two minutes after this we are going to view under microscope now let us proceed for seeing the microstructure of this particular specimen so uh, we have gone for grinding we have gone for polishing uh, the desk polishing machine as well as the emery papers okay so i as i told you that i'll be explaining about the etchant so before we view under microstructure microscope so you should know definitely you should go for applying of this etchants okay this is the uh, etchant for cast iron okay so for different metals for different non metals different alloys you have different micro or uh, the, the different one you are going to take down for the as a etchant now this is the filler okay this is filler you are going to fill it okay and you are going to apply fine on a microstructure of this particular specimen okay so this is for the cast iron similarly you have the different etchants for different metals non metals and alloys so after this we will just go for seeing the microstructure of the particular metal or a non metal or an alloy uh, already we have seen the uh, grinding polishing and also polishing on the etchant uh, and along with the etchants and also the memory papers now let us see the microstructure of this one then we'll go for drawing the microstructure of this particular carbon as well as the high carbon steels okay dear students now let's have a glance of the microstructure of this particular carbon dear students now we just seen regarding grinding polishing and also on the emery papers so and also microstructure of carbon as well as high carbon steel now let us uh, see we just have gone through the micro we in the microstructure this one so we just drawn the a low carbon steel as well as high carbon steel microstructure in practical it appears this in this way i have drawn two different diagrams for each and every element the first one indicates it is before etching that means before the, you use the etchant on this particular microstructure that appears okay after etching the uh, fine microstructure the clear cut microstructure of this low carbon steel is appeared in this way these are called as grinds uh, the lines are called as porous lines okay and similar way even for the high carbon steel this is before the etchant and uh, this is after using the etchant i hope you all understood dear students regarding the microstructure of low carbon steels and high carbon steels thank you for listening dear student